Hello guys, welcome to Pasha TV, Cyprin TV, Merian TV. Hey, Ngojeni, huku ni page na hako ni genu natumia. Kutumi ima na bima hewa. Nisitake yako? Haya, sawa. Ok, sorry, sorry. Kutumi ima na bima hewa. Haya. Hello guys, welcome to Pasha TV, Cyprin TV, and Imali TV. And of course, I'm your host. Imali, so right now coming live from Nyabohanse, I know we've covered a lot of stories from Nyabohanse, but today's story is one of a special one coming live from its Nastor's home. Of course, you can just take a look and we're going to have a talk with him. He's going to tell us this is a perfect example of grass to grace. So let's have a chat with him so that he can tell us how he's faring, how far he's come. It's Nasto, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, Emali TV. Yes. Yeah, and uh, Cyprian and uh, Pashwa, uh -huh. thank you very much for uh, visiting me. Yeah. Yeah, I've been good. I hope you're all doing good. Yes, yes. we are for sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, probably if you can tell our audience, like, uh, what are you doing here, like, at the villa? Of course, we've been at the villa, yes. at Mara's villa. What is your role there? What have you been doing so far? Uh, actually, guys, I have a very long story about... Uh, where I've come from and uh, where I am right now. Mm -hmm. uh, all this has been inspired by a guy called uh, Ayamaro. Mm -hmm. He's the, I think he's one of the most traveled uh, YouTubers in Africa here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has inspired a whole village to start a YouTube channel by what he has done. Yeah, mm -hmm. he went, traveled uh, across many continents, but later came back to the village and uh, has inspired very many youths to start uh, YouTube channels. Yeah. So we are just trying to follow through his footsteps. Uh, at the villa there, right now he's, uh, he's uh, hosting a party for 30 days. Mm -hmm. So the people that he has inspired and many more friends have come to support him. So for my role, I'm uh, in charge of the environment department mm -hmm. at uh, Maros Place, yeah. ensuring that we have a clean and in, uh, a neat environment. Yeah. And uh, I'm being assisted by a guy called Yeyo, yeah, who is a, a gardener at my place. Oh. So I took him to Maros Place mm -hmm. to ensure that the compound looks good. I hope uh, you, you, all of you see the what you have done for the for environment. For sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's my main role there. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, building this house yeah. is to encourage my fellow youths because I was working for more than, I think four years I've been working for four years at uh, a white collar job uh -huh. and uh, I decided now to switch uh, permanently to mm -hmm. become a full-time youtuber after mm -hmm. being given lessons by Ayamara mm -hmm. on what to do on YouTube on what not to do mm -hmm. yeah and uh, by following those steps and also by being patient yeah. And uh, I don't know how to say this, by being, uh, you know, sometimes when you get maybe money yeah. and you misuse it. Mm -hmm. So I tried not to misuse to the, yeah, to be economical, uh -huh. not to misuse the YouTube salary. Yes. So right now, guys, I tried to invest mm -hmm. everything into building a home here. Yeah. Yes, because uh, previously I was doing videos at uh, a friend's home. Most of my videos, mm -hmm. I was starting from that home. So people were like, hey Nasto, show us your home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes we have families that uh, you decide to keep them maybe private. Mm. So I could not do videos at my home. Yeah. So this is now my new home. Mm -hmm. Here I can record a all corners. Everywhere. With a yeah, everywhere we without being questioned. Hey, don't record here. Yeah. Don't record here. Don't show this part. So I'm happy to have a home mm -hmm. that I can now invite most uh, like I don't say this is my home, this is a home of YouTubers because this house, mm. like 95%, yeah. let me say maybe 90, 100% has been built through YouTube support. Mm. From buying the land to putting the iron sheet. Yeah, yeah everything is uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And also I want to encourage uh, my fellow youths yeah. to know that uh, the internet pays, social media pays, mm -hmm. And uh, we can take this as a full-time job. Maybe someone else is a pilot. You yeah. can also be a YouTuber and proud yes. and uh, pay all your bills mm -hmm. yeah, through YouTube. Yeah. Yes. And of course, Nasto, you've spoken about you having finally having a home here. So someone will ask, are you a resident of Nyabohanse or did you just move here to buy the chamber? No, I'm, I'm born and raised uh, in Nyabohanse. Uh -huh. Ayamaro is my immediate neighbor at their whole home. Uh -huh. It's just a walking distance. So mm -hmm. that's why we even have a close relationship because I've been seeing him grow. He knows me from childhood. Mm -hmm. So it became easy to connect with him mm -hmm. and... Uh, yeah, so I decided to move down here. Yeah. At my home, there is no, you can't see grass in the middle of the compound. Mm -hmm. All the place has been cemented. Ah. 
-hmm. So even if you have a child, mm -hmm. uh, they can't play in the grass. So yeah. I always had that dream of uh, having just a compound where you can plant flowers. That's why I try every day to plant fruits, mm -hmm. gardens, and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up in the morning, you can see some mango tree there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That feeling of having a a home. A home. Yes. And you've done a pretty good job for yourself. I can see a lot of people here are farmers. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we tried so much to be self-sufficient. Mm. Like I want, like, uh, when you get to this compound, yeah. you can start from the garden, you get your kales there, mm. uh, maybe a banana. Self-sufficient. You yes. can just live here and... Uh, just survive. One-stop market. Yes, a one-stop market. <laughs> <laughs> you only have to go maybe to the posho mill yes. to grind the maize only. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, Nasta, how was it like uh, for you meeting Mara and of course you working to where you are right now, even for him supporting you to where you are right now? Yeah, actually, uh, Maro, the first time Maro came to the village yeah. after Colombia, mm -hmm. he told his age group mm -hmm. to start a YouTube channel, my elder brother, mm -hmm. to start a YouTube channel. So. Most did not understand maybe that you could post videos. So the second time he came, he found that my elder brothers had not opened uh, the channels. He had uh, encouraged them mm -hmm. to open. So yeah. me and my friend, uh, he's called Maja, mm -hmm. we, we encouraged each other and mm -hmm. said, ah, let's try this YouTube because we saw Ayamaro's younger brother, Devi, mm -hmm. had a channel. So we said, ah, mm -hmm. let's try this. Yeah. So we did our first videos and went to Maro and we told him that uh, this channel, my channel was called Nasto and Maja. So it was a, a, combination, a of combination of the two channels. Mm. So we started the Nasto and Maja, we went to Maro. He was very supportive. Mm -hmm. But we started when he was about to leave the village, uh. the last, last weeks. Mm -hmm. So we went, we did two videos with him, and then he left. Yeah. So it was a little bit hard to grow. To, yeah, because to that time, uh, it was only me, Claude Joseph, and Maja that had uh, YouTube channels, mm -hmm. and Dimwango. Mm -hmm. So we tried our best, but it was very, very hard mm -hmm. because you, you cannot do collabs with uh, different people. Yeah. So he went, traveled for over a year. Mm -hmm. We were under 1,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. And also Maja went to school, mm -hmm. so he left me with uh, the channel to run. Yeah. So every time I was introducing, hey, welcome to Nasto and Maja. So mm -hmm. people were like, where is Maja? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to edit the channel yeah. and remove Maja. Mm -hmm. I, I communicated to him and told him, let me try mm -hmm. so that when you come, yeah. at least I, I have some experience on YouTube. Yeah. I can open for you the channel and we can push it. Yeah. Luckily, when he finished uh, university, he came back and uh, Maro was back again. Mm -hmm. So he kept he kept uh, supporting us. He asked me, Nasto, are you monetized? Mm -hmm. hey, no, I'm not monetized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he supported me. We got the watch hours. And uh, right now, guys, we are here. Wow. Yes. Wow. So how has the journey been? Uh, it's not been an easy journey. Mm -hmm. It's not been an easy journey. It's uh, been a tough one, yeah. especially at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Most people did not understand what YouTube was. Mm -hmm. uh, we did not have the youths opening channels. Right now we have so many YouTubers, maybe mm -hmm. like 50. Mm -hmm. So at least uh, our parents understand. Mm -hmm. The journey has been uh, tough, mm -hmm. but uh, for me personally, uh, my family has been uh, very supportive. Wow. You know, when you have a supportive family, even when other people don't support you, mm. uh, you can uh, you can have that strength to go on. So my sister, she's late. She gave me her phone. Mm. Uh, we did that. When I used to go to support other people, charity, mm -hmm. she used to chip in. Uh -huh. And uh, that really kept me going. So there was a time mm. it was very hard. Yeah. Uh, my parents told me, hey, Nasta, I think maybe YouTube is, uh, is not working out. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can go for a second degree. Yeah. So I applied at... Uh, Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. up to today, they still send me the messages. Yeah. Your, your spot is still here. <laughs> if it's the fee, you, going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's the fee, mm -hmm. you can come and uh, we can sort things out. Mm -hmm. But I told my family that uh, for me personally, I think YouTube will work. Mm -hmm. If you are a YouTuber out there, just give your channel time. Mm -hmm. What it needs is uh, time yeah. and uh, work hard on it. So I always knew maybe in one year, mm -hmm. my channel will... will uh, will grow to some point. Yeah. yeah, so because I've been seeing people like uh, maybe artists, mm. maybe they're not perfect in uh, what they're doing, mm -hmm. but they are because they have been maybe in the industry, yeah. it's easier for them to be recognized. Mm. I also saw people who are uh, very good in uh, music, yeah. but they don't have that platform, mm -hmm. so it becomes hard for them. So that is what kept me going, because I knew one day mm. when maybe my channel will grow, mm -hmm. it will be easy to communicate with an audience. And... Uh, I thank my subscribers, 
those that uh, really support me they always encourage me that mm. uh, yeah you're doing a good job you know when you do a video and uh, maybe the comments mm. this is the best video yes. when you put the other one they say this is the best so yes. you know you are you're, yeah you are doing a good job yeah, yeah. so that kept me going mm. and also through monetization mm. Uh, Maro has been very supportive. Sometimes he he gives us uh, a hint of the revenue on YouTube. So that keeps you going. You say, hey, mm-hmm. let me just push on, push on. Yeah, keep pushing. Mm-hmm. And uh, right now you don't have to pay maybe rent. Mm-hmm. You don't have to buy food yeah. because you're in the village. Mm-hmm. So the money that you get on YouTube is uh, a full package. Yeah. You don't have to divide it maybe rent and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... That kept me going, mm-hmm. yes. And of course, you've said that you used to do a white collar job before you started YouTube. So right now, since you started, how long has it been? Uh, YouTube right now is uh, one year full time. One year. But so I've been on YouTube for two two years, uh, yes. Okay. So like what comparison, when you try to compare uh, the finances when you are at your white collar job versus right now, which one can you say really is working for you? Uh, YouTube is working because you have uh, like you're your own boss, yeah. and uh, but I'm not my own boss mm. because we have people who watch us every day. They expect us to upload a video, mm. but it's not so much pressure compared to maybe a white collar job. Yeah. I used to work at uh, a bus station, mm-hmm. uh, sorting luggages, mm-hmm. uh, booking tickets, mm. and I was paid like uh, eighteen thousand. Yeah. And you can imagine maybe you're uh, you have to pay rent, mm. you have to buy food and it was far from the village. Mm. So YouTube, even if it pays you 20,000, mm-hmm. it's a full package, you don't have to pay rent. So yeah. right now I can say YouTube is much better than uh, my job. But again, <coughs> my job gave me that uh, knowledge yeah. on how to know how to deal with people. You know, on YouTube we have uh, the online bullying, yes. yeah, which is uh, an issue. But yeah. when you are employed, mm. you get to know how to communicate with yeah. different people. Someone can come with their stress, mm. And maybe they have not carried their ID and they want their package, yeah. so they abuse you, but you have to keep calm. Yeah. So it's just like uh, social media. Yeah. There are very many hatred on social media, mm-hmm. but you have to be, to be calm. So my previous job mm-hmm. was a very good pillar yeah. uh, that I'm using right now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, so now even you get to a point now where you are acquiring this land and, uh, and uh, of course starting to build. So. How, how has it been? Has it been expensive for you or have you maneuvered? Maybe if you can just encourage somebody out there who is thinking even building in the village. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Maro encouraged us to come back to the villages mm-hmm. and uh, invest more in the village. Mm-hmm. So that's why for me also I, I decided to build back in the village. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can save maybe for two years and maybe buy a house in the city. Yeah. But we decided to come and develop our village. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not been easy, it's not cheap to build, mm. but the good thing about building and your uh, content creator, mm-hmm. the content can, uh, the house can build itself. Yeah. Yeah, every, every day when you do a video, it pays back, yes. so the salary you use it next month yeah. to build your house. So mm. it's uh, not that hard, mm. but we try. And also you have to be very, uh, how do I say, the issue of keeping money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to know that you have, Masons to pay, cements yeah, to buy, to yeah, to be disciplined with your money. You'll go a long way, for mm-hmm. sure. And uh, also the thing that's really helped me, mm-hmm. when you get some money, yes. buy even two trucks of sand, mm-hmm. even if you're not building. Uh-huh. Like in my compound, you can see we have yeah, a lot of materials, yeah. but I'm done with the construction. Mm-hmm. It's because I'm planning maybe one day to put a fence, one day to add another house. Yeah. So it becomes cheaper when... Uh, in future, if you want to build, you'll just find you have sand here. Yeah. Yeah, you can just make the blocks and mm-hmm. it's uh, maybe the money that you've saved, mm-hmm. you can use it for other expenses. Yes. yes. And uh, you know, Nasto, in this community, it's just crazy how literally everybody is, is expecting to meet you, you know, vlogging or shooting a video. Yes. You can see from other places, it's super hard for you to vlog on the road. People are staring. But here, you've had that freedom of uh, vlogging. It's almost like you people are in a big city where nobody's bothering anyone. So how has the experience been you know even uh, comparing to those who have not started like in terms of we just vlogging freely on the road yeah, I think uh, because we have so many youtubers mm. around so it's easy very many people now understand uh, what you're doing when they see you on the road with uh, a phone mm. and they have seen maybe the fruits mm. like 
they can see Nasto has been doing videos and right now he's building. So mm -hmm. they support you when they meet you on the road, they say, hey, can I say hello to your people? Mm -hmm. So they are very, very supportive. Yeah. And that has given us that easiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go to a home and they can accept you to show their home. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy to record a home and mm -hmm. upload. Yeah. But uh, our villagers have been uh, very supportive, mm -hmm. very, very supportive, except for few, maybe because of uh, maybe the knowledge. Mm -hmm. They don't understand how social media works, mm -hmm. but we are trying so much maybe to explain that you, uh, YouTube pays through ads. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for them to understand what that you can uh, just do a video while standing and you get paid. Mm. So convincing maybe a grandmother yeah. is very hard. Mm. They believe maybe you have to go to the farm, yes. dig mm -hmm. and get paid yeah. to build a, maybe a house. Mm. So we are trying so much to use even the government officials mm. to raise awareness yeah. and encourage maybe tell your son we can open for them YouTube channels mm -hmm. and uh, we can nurture them mm -hmm. on how to become good YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, speaking about that, of course, we usually say there's always positive criticism and negative criticism in every instance. So, for example, this instance of, that you've just mentioned, of course, we've had interactions with different yes. people in the community. Others are happy about, you know, the YouTube channel people, you know, co creating content. And of course, there are others who have done what you, who uh, feel like it's not it, the way you've just explained. Yes. So, I don't know how has it been for you guys, especially you guys who are pioneers who've been doing this for a long time. Has it been really so hard or maybe what advice can you just give to them? Uh, I think it depends also with the discipline. As I said earlier, yeah. YouTube has monetization. Mm. So maybe when a parent, uh, their son opens up a YouTube channel mm. and they use the money maybe to do other stuff, mm. maybe get drunk. Mm -hmm. So you see the parent, mm. parent will say YouTube is a bad thing mm -hmm. because maybe it has misled my son or he has changed the character. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you get money, you migrate from home, go rent uh, an apartment maybe somewhere and you forget about the parents. Definitely they will say, this is a, maybe a curse that has been brought. But when you're disciplined and you work hard, people will appreciate your work and uh, they will say this is a good thing that has come to the village. You know, a village is a, is a small mm. community. Mm. Yes, it's a small community where everyone knows what is happening. Yeah, where everyone knows what is happening. So it's easy to get to know that YouTube is here, maybe Nasto was like this, right now he has changed. Mm. Yeah, so when you change to the bird, they will say it's a bad ah, thing, yes. Yeah, and for those who are saying it's free, Mason, what message do you have for them? Because I'm sure there yes. are those who are watching who have that perspective. Uh, for me, uh, I'm happy when they say that yeah. because your property will be protected. So mm -hmm. no one will say, let me go and steal from Nasto, he's in free, Mason. Yeah. <laughs> so even if I leave my bags of cement here, one week they'll be out here. Mm. I think it's it's good. Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's good it mm -hmm. keeps you respected mm -hmm. but for us who we do what we have to do mm -hmm. we know that we are doing the right thing yeah. and always we put god first mm -hmm. yeah it's uh we are trying also to educate maybe someone doesn't know mm -hmm. how youtube works yeah. so for someone willing to learn mm -hmm. you will teach them you will yeah. tell them that this is how it works Someone, uh, because one day we were called to the chief's office uh -huh. and uh, I raised the question and asked the chief, do you have maybe TikTok on your phone? Mm -hmm. He said yes. Mm -hmm. He opened the TikTok and uh, he was watching the comedy and mm -hmm. he was enjoying. So I told him, when you watch this, mm -hmm. there's someone being paid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he got to understand now how YouTube mm -hmm. pays and he promised he will tell other people. Uh -huh. big, uh, I think it's uh, just lack of uh, maybe knowledge yeah. on how YouTube works. Yeah and uh, if you can really get paid on uh, social media. Even for me, I never believed, but the first salary when I got to the bank and so hey, mm -hmm. I've been paid. Now we kept believing and uh, teaching other people. Yeah. Yes. Wow, wow. So, uh, Nasto, maybe if you can tell us, what is that wrong perception people have about you? Uh, the wrong perception mm. about me? Yes. <laughs> maybe some people can say that uh, I ignore, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm an introvert. I don't know how to maybe create communication mm -hmm. yeah approach maybe people and uh, get to converse with them mm -hmm. but sometimes you get busy doing other stuff like uh, construction you have to be up and down up and down mm -hmm. so people maybe can say that i ignore people but mm -hmm. uh, i think that is a wrong perspective i was brought up in in a in a family where i don't talk much mm -hmm. so but through social media i'm trying to change that and interact more with uh, my friends mm -hmm. yeah so how do you think people should approach you? Maybe if you can give them some insights. 
insights. Yes. I just be friendly. Just be friendly. For me, I I love people who are uh, supportive and uh, friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and we, we can be good friends. Yeah. yeah, support maybe when you see someone doesn't know. Mm-hmm. For example, when I go at Mara's place mm-hmm. and find someone maybe recording their video like this, mm-hmm. definitely I have to tell them no. Mm-hmm. Put your mm-hmm. phone like this. Mm-hmm. You know they will live to remember you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and you know that is what I was about to ask. Actually, I was supposed to. I was about to ask you, like, have you supported people now that you've been in that space where you you know what support means to someone? Have you supported people? Held people's hands? Yeah, I've supported so many. Yeah. Uh, especially someone who wants to be supported mm-hmm. you know maybe someone wants to open a youtube channel and uh, they don't have a phone mm-hmm. and maybe through me showing uh, maybe showcasing them on my channel and they can get support we've bought phones for more than four people mm-hmm. and right now they have uh, successful youtube channels mm-hmm. i've opened very many youtube channels mm-hmm. i've supported them in uh, monetization mm-hmm. ads mm-hmm. i give them maybe the postal office the pin comes and we call them freely yeah mm. so i've supported many people wow. yes wow that's so beautiful and so even as even as we conclude uh, of course we've had the party at, at Ayamara's villa and uh, you've been there of course people have been coming visitors and different types of uh, different types of creators yes for someone who is watching right now and uh, for the first time they don't know what the party is really for maybe if you can just explain to them what the party has been for and how significant it has been to the community and just to content creators in, in general uh, actually the party is uh, celebrating uh, 500k and also for house opening you know in our culture the korean community mm. even this house when i build it mm. i can't just move in mm. i have to do a small celebration with people mm. officially yeah to bring good luck to the home. Mm. So I think that is what Mara is doing, but yeah. now to an uh, advanced level mm-hmm. for one month. Yeah. For us, we do maybe for one day. Mm-hmm. So for him, he was just house warming and uh, op- officially opening the house. Mm-hmm. And uh, to the community, mm-hmm. it has supported very many people. When you go down there, right now there's no electricity in the village, mm-hmm. but you can do your video there, mm-hmm. upload it, use the, his generator, mm-hmm and uh, everything so he has really brought a big impact mm-hmm. to the community and i'm one of them mm-hmm. right now i'm able to pay maybe 10 mesons a day mm-hmm. so you see through me maybe some other people can mm-hmm. get paid through marwa at his compound you'll get very many people working for him yeah. so he has uh, helped so many people and uh, i have family we have to take care of my mom yeah. everyone yeah. you see so he has supported very many a mm-hmm. very big community mm-hmm. Yes. I, I don't know. So you getting this land, was it hard as my we spoke with Mayugna and he said him getting the land over there was hard. You know, right now in Yabuhanse is hot cake and yes. it's really known by a lot of people. So I don't know, was it hard for you? And also, how do you feel about your community being on top of the land? Yeah, for, for me, I'm, uh, I'm really happy yeah. that uh, our community, I, I personally, I would uh, love to see that uh, our land even goes much higher, mm. more expensive. Mm-hmm. Because when you buy land like this mm. and maybe you pay someone good money, mm. they can go, they can build their home, mm. maybe they can take kids to school. Yeah. You see, you've brought uh, good luck to their family. Sure. Yeah, so it was uh, not easy getting land here, mm. but uh, through praying, like mm. sometimes you just wake up, maybe you've been looking for a piece of land uh, for so long, mm. but one day maybe someone just tells you, hey, there's uh, land being sold somewhere. Mm. When you believe that uh, just good things will follow you, good things will, that's what I can say. It was not easy, but by good luck, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, you know, it's nice to someone is asking out there, are you single? Are you dating? Are you married? Please tell us. Yes. <laughs> Your crush has been somebody, you know? Yeah, for me personally, I love keeping my relationship private mm. <laughs> for privacy issues yeah. and also to have something that uh, it's me only who knows about things. There's mm. that pride. Yes. So for me, I give out content that can uh, build someone, that mm. can encourage someone. Mm. So. Me, my relationship, I don't think if it can uh, maybe encourage someone. Mm. Yes, I give you things that can build you. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Ma- then you said you right now you have your own compound, you'll be creating your own. Oh. Finally, when you move here and you have, will you be hiding? When the right, when the right thing, when time, the time comes, comes, yeah, people will know ah. for sure. Okay, so, so, so you guys have heard. Uh, thank you so much, Nasto. But before we finish, maybe you can just tell us your last words, anything I've forgotten to mention, any message to uh, Marwa, and of course uh, to the visitors. You've interacted with a lot of visitors from abroad, from around content creators. Any message to them? 
Uh, for me, what I will say is uh, never underestimate anyone. Mm. Yeah, associate with the, everyone you meet, yeah. and uh, don't be selfish. Like Maro is trying to teach us not to be selfish, yeah. because he's supporting very many YouTubers. Mm. When you go to his compound, very many people are sleeping at uh, his home. Mm. So don't be selfish. That is uh, what I can really say, mm. and uh, always work hard. Mm. Maro has uh, 500k subscribers on YouTube. Mm. But he uploads a video every single day, every single day. So that's what keeps me going. Every day I have to try and uh, upload a video, yeah. no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now I don't have a phone, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm sure I'll upload a video. Mm -hmm. Yes, thick through thick or thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, it's nice. I hope I've not locked anything out. Probably wanted to say. Uh, no, no, no. You are me, good. I, I just want to encourage you. Yeah. Keep uh, keep chasing your dreams. Mm -hmm. Have goals. When you set a goal, trust me, mm -hmm. uh, you won't rest until you achieve that goal. Wow. Yes. And uh, it's been a pleasure hosting you. Thank you so much even for welcoming us here. Yes. And we're really hoping also when you'll be celebrating the Definitely. opening of your house, you're going to invite us. Definitely. Okay, yes. thank you so much. So guys, of course, it's been it's been a pleasure hosting It's Nasto over here. You've heard the stories he has, he has had to say, the encouragement. And of course, if you have more questions, you can go check him or ask him at his YouTube channel. Actually, he didn't. Yes, uh, my YouTube name is uh, It's underscore Nasto. Mm. Kindly go check me out subscribe and also subscribe to my sister Pasha TV Imali Cyprian TV yeah support them support them yes yeah so guys of course you can leave your comments down below in the comment section if you have any question whatsoever be sure to like like this video subscribe to these channels where you're watching from if you haven't and of course guys let's see y'all in the next one bye bye nice